In this video, we're going to talk about how to publish a Quarto website using GitHub Pages. So what exactly is GitHub Pages? GitHub Pages is a feature of GitHub that allows you to host websites for you and your projects on GitHub itself. The websites are hosted directly from your GitHub repository, meaning that you can keep a Git repository of your website, push changes of your website to GitHub, and see the changed website almost instantly on GitHub. So GitHub Pages is really a great way to host a website while getting all the features that you would using a normal Git or GitHub repository. If your GitHub username is username and your website is contained in the demo site GitHub repository, then your rendered website is going to be username.github.io slash demo site. For example, you who are watching this video in the future can actually see the rendered website that we're creating in this video at jfrench.github.io slash demo site. I also have a website for my in progress open education resource book on linear regression at jfrench.github.io slash linear regression. Both of these are examples of websites published through GitHub pages. If you're creating a personal website, then it's going to be best to host it as username.github.io. As a reminder, we've already created an initial Quarto website and changed the output directory of our Quarto website to docs so that when we render the website, all of the files needed to display the website are stored in the docs folder. That's critical for what we're about to do. Go to github.com and make sure that you're logged into your GitHub account. First, we want to create a new repository. If you're going to be publishing a personal website at username.github.io, that's going to be the name of the repository that you want to create. So if I wanted to do that, since my GitHub username is jfrench, for the repository name, I would choose jfrench.github.io. And I want to make the repository public, so make sure you click that button. However, I already have a personal website, so I don't want to do that here. I'm going to create a project called Demo Site. So when we publish this website, it's going to be published at jfrench.github.io slash demo site. After specifying the correct repository name, I click Create New Repository. At this point, we really want to link our Quarto website project with the GitHub repository that we want to use to host the website. If you already have Git set up through RStudio, then you can use these commands here to link your Quarto website project with this specific repository. But I'm going to assume here that you do not have that. So we're simply going to copy our Quarto website folder into our GitHub repository and go from there. I now click uploading an existing file I navigate to the demo site folder on my computer. I select all of the files in the folder and drag them to the GitHub web page. I now need to commit these files to the GitHub directory. I want to give a brief description of my commits. I'm going to give it the description initial website. I click commit changes. To turn this into a website using GitHub Pages, I need to take some additional steps. I click the Settings button. I navigate to Pages. And then under Branch, I select Main. And instead of the Root folder, I navigate down to Docs. Then click Save. After waiting for a bit, I refresh my page. I now see that my site is rendered at jfrench.github.io slash demo site, and I can click this button to visit the site. And now you've published your first Quarto website using GitHub Pages. Great job. Be aware that anytime you want to make changes to your website, unless you link your RStudio project directory with your GitHub repository, okay. that you're going to have to manually upload your updated files to your GitHub repository. You can do that by clicking the Add File button and Upload Files and going through a similar process as before. So I highly encourage you to link your RStudio project with your GitHub repository so that you can easily 
commit and push changes from your Quarto website to your GitHub repository. In future videos, we'll learn more about how to customize your website and how to make it look fantastic.